Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be making YouTube storytime animators out of polymer clay, aka making friends online. Get it? Before we get into it though, I just want to quickly mention that we've got some banger new merch on the Jelly Jazz store just in time for Black Friday sales. I'm absolutely in love with the design and actually have one of these hoodies on the way to me as we speak. I've also got my Christmas merch online again too, so you can prepare yourself for the festive season! Links below? Okay, thanks, bye! <laughs> Now, if you're wondering why I'm making this video, to put it in simple terms, I want to feel like I'm 12 years old again. I used to be obsessed with making these little chibis out of polymer clay, or just anything out of polymer clay, really. Like, it was my key interest for a very long time. Not to mention, I also spent many hours watching polymer clay YouTubers. The content? Mwah! A masterpiece. There were definitely a lot of tutorials for everything, but chibis? They were everywhere. Everywhere! So yeah, I want to relive that experience, so why not do it with YouTube animators? Let's go! Alright, first up we are starting with the marshmallow guy. Uh, not marshmallow, that would be very weird. Imagine if he was a storytime YouTuber. <laughs> anyway, I am of course talking about James and not gonna lie, I was pretty scared about making all these characters. If you don't know who the odd ones out is, you're living under a rock. It's about drive, it's about power. He is the biggest storytime animated YouTuber out there, and as he should, because his content is very entertaining. It's really hard to pick, like, a favourite video of his, but I would probably say something like where he's talking about his childhood animals, so like the hamster one or the cats one. Also, that video about movie sequels, that one was really good too. And I love the thumbnail, it is the best thing to ever exist on YouTube. If anyone's wondering, I'm using Sculpey 3 for all of the white clay in this video, and oh my god, it is the best. But about 10 years ago when I was using clay regularly, Sculpey wasn't even available in Australia, and I was so jealous of everyone in America and the UK using all this fancy clay that I couldn't have access to. The only thing we really had was Fimo, which was 50-50 because it could be amazing to work with, or it could be a dry, crumbly piece of garbage that would take like half an hour just to knead it, to work with it. Like, that sucks. But anyway, here's an opinion that no one really cares about. Um, Sculpey is amazing. Hi Sculpey, if you're watching. <laughs> Here I am going to be making the head. I kind of wanted to do like an oval shape, not just like a circle because that's not what his character's like. So, um, I'm still sticking to like the traditional chibi stuff, but making it a little different, um, for each character. So, we love eggs. <laughs> Here's me just trying to get rid of all the creases and bumps and like dust out of the head because we want this thing to be perfect. Well, almost perfect. Okay, so I stuffed up here, like I tried making the face on the placemat and like carve it out and see what I could do, but then it got stuck and I couldn't do anything about it, so it was dead to me. Time for round two and I decided to make it like on my finger so it doesn't get stuck on the bottom. And it kind of worked, honestly. And then I put it back on the placemat and did some more adjusting to things. And it looks so much better. I'm trying to attach the little tiny snake onto the mouth itself. And I can't do that with my fingers because it will just destroy everything. So I'm using this tool and it actually worked out better than I thought it would. I also didn't realize how hard it would be to get the perfect tongue shape. Um... I never thought I would be doing this in my life, but here we are. Somehow attaching the mouth was easier than putting the eyes on. Like one of the eyes was fine, but when it came to the second one, just look. So that's it for James, and I am so sorry I forgot his seatbelt. And here is the finished product. <laughs> Next up we have Jaden Animations, another successful YouTuber that I couldn't leave out and she also has very cute birds. I also really enjoy her content and some of my favourite videos would have to be my time at Camp Operetta, 
Is that how you say it? Also, the Jaden animations, the anime, was really cool. She has been shifting a little bit away from the story time genre, which that definitely isn't a bad thing because I'm in love with her new content just as much as the old stuff. Most of you probably know that she's done a lot of game content recently, and oh my god, that Mario video! Oh my- <sighs> The dedication! I also find Jaden's and James's origin story here on YouTube really fascinating as well. Like with Jaden's background with I Has Cupquake and James's background with his comics, it's really cool to see what this community has turned into really. But back to the clay, the colour purple for Jaden's body, I actually didn't show it on camera but I had to make it myself because I only had like a dark purple. But not gonna lie, I think it's pretty accurate. I'm doing like a more circle head for this as well, not like James's. I think the rest are gonna be like that as well. So here's me also trying to get some dust off. Um, white clay is very hard to keep clean. Once I was happy with the shape, I attached it to the body and it looks like this. Yeah! Now it's time to roll out the hair and I'm actually using a dotting tool for this. Like I feel like it does a pretty good job and you'll see very soon that there's some air bubbles in the clay so I just pop them with a knife. Satisfying. Okay so with the hair I honestly had no idea how I should approach this. Um, so I rolled it all out and I just cut out like a rough sketch of what the hair looks like. So here I am just making it thicker and thinner in some places and I match it up with the body and um, cut off a bit to see like how much I should have and whatnot and uh, this is what it's looking like. Doesn't really look like Jaden. Wow, look at this great camera work. It is not in focus at all but it's focused on the hair in the background. With the hair, I also added some extra clay to get some thicker like flicks with the hair and I think that was a pretty good choice. I was honestly winging it at this time. Like I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> this is also me trying to figure out how to approach the fringe or bangs or whatever you call it. A lot of people think that the word fringe is very ugly. I kind of agree, but a lot of people say that in Australia. This is what I ended up with. Um, again, it's not looking awful. It turned out a lot better than what I thought it was going to look like. And now for the eyes, I cut off a lot of black clay just to get some small little balls and just trying to get them like the same size. And yeah, it looks like this. <laughs> Alright, so next up we have a fellow creator who also lives in Australia. He goes by the name The Amazing. Uh, Maze is such a nice guy. He- <laughs> I'm sorry, I know it's Mars, okay? I'm not that stupid. Okay, first, he's an animator. Second, he's a doctor. And third, he's obsessed with mayo. I've always been a fan of his content and like I said before, he is a very nice person. When I first started this channel, he gave me a lot of helpful feedback, which was really nice of him because he didn't need to, but he did, which I am extremely grateful for. Which at that time, he also featured on one of my first ever videos here, a very old one. Um, but yeah, he did that too, which was really nice. Wow, look at this. Super realistic. Not much going on. Killing time. How's your day going, huh? Jeez, I'm really taking my time on this. <laughs> so since I completely winged it with Jaden's hair, I'm using the same technique with Mars's. So I'm just cutting out like a quick outline of his hair and just hoping for the best. Putting the beard on the face was scary, but little did I know, it was about to get scarier. As you all know, Mars does not have eyes. So, uh... There goes that part of the chibi. Of course, I could not leave his face like this, so it was time to work on his glasses. Oh my god, it was so fiddly. I used this tool again to like attach all the pieces together and it was a lifesaver, honestly. I was having doubts about the glasses because I thought they looked a bit small compared to the body and everything else. Like, that's a very big beard. You know what? Stuff it. I hate it. We're taking them off. I can't just leave Mars with mini glasses. And you know what? It actually worked out really well somehow. So that, um, that's amazing. That's amazing! Overall, I made the glasses bigger and it just honestly looks so much better than it did before. Like, here's a comparison. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention my favorite videos of Mars's would have to be the Mafia series, of course. 
but also the video where he talks about working at Wackdonalds. Also, Mars, I apologize that I wasn't at VidCon Australia in 2019. Uh... Regrets. <laughs> Next up, we have TJ Toons. TJ is well known in this community and he is also a very nice person as well. My favorite videos of his would have to be the Miracle Kitten story and also his newest video, my worst PE teacher experience. Unfortunately, he got hacked this year and he eventually came back with that video and oh my god, that was such a strong video to come back with. And I also found out that I'm not the only one who can't tread water, so that's great. <laughs> I know he has made this publicly and I won't go into much detail about it, but there has been a lot going on in his personal life and I hope he is getting all the love and support, not only for him, but his family as well. We all love you, TJ, and I hope you feel that energy from everyone. And now for the scary time again, the hair. So I'm just rolling it out again and doing a rough tracing of his hair and just hoping for the best, honestly. How shocking! I then made some single pieces for the front of his hair because it looks a little whack without it, just saying. And then it was just a matter of trying to match up the hair flicks like in the right direction. Um, I was definitely looking at a picture for this. I also added another small piece of brown clay to the side of his face because it looked a little weird without it, so... This is when I realized he wears a hoodie, so why not add a hoodie to the chibi? I'm a little bit off with the green color for TJ. Um, I'm sorry. I'm really out here creating like the OG TJ green style. Now it's time to chop up some eyes. No, wait, that doesn't sound good. I got a size that I was happy with, so I added it to his face and look, he can see. This is the final product. This is when I realized I put on a hood for TJ, but I didn't put on a collar for Mars. We are now up to the last YouTuber and you guessed it, it is Illymation. You're actually going to see me mix up a fair bit of clay for Illy. That's because I realized when it was time to make her, I didn't have orange clay. I didn't know that. <laughs> I had to mix in a lot of red, yellow and white clay to get the color I liked. But hey, this is probably a good time to talk about Illy. Illy is another popular creator who is also very good at telling stories. Her videos flow very nicely and I love that. And my favorite videos of hers would have to be my Animal Crossing obsession because it's an obsession for me. And also I really like the video Dangerous Stunts I pulled off as a kid. Also middle school fashion was also a really good one too. As you can see, I made the color for her body as well. I only had this dark blue or this bright purple and I feel like both of them didn't really match her color. I also chopped off some white clay, um, not because the head was big or anything, Actually, it does look a little big, but I chopped it off because there was a fair bit of dust in this white clay, which was so annoying because I cleaned like every five seconds. I rolled out Illy's hair, got rid of some air bubbles and did a rough outline of the hair shape again. I then attached it to the head and I'm pretty glad that the clay was fairly soft. It was very easy to smooth out any bumps or cracks. It was just a matter of trying to replicate the hair in places. I then also rolled out some single pieces of clay and this is what it looked like. Now for the scary part, the glasses are making a comeback. So basically with this, I rolled out some snakes and measured it together so I had two identical pieces. I used this tool again to place the snake on the face around the eyes. When it came down to the second eye, I have no idea what happened. Like, it was a bit small, but I thought I measured it correctly. I eventually rolled out a new one and it worked out all right. Then I just had to roll out a little piece to connect the two lenses together. And this is what it looks like. This was the best I could get. To the oven! It is now time to cook my clay friends to a crisp. 
I put them in there for 15 minutes at 130 degrees Celsius and this is what they looked like. I think they all look really cool and it was really fun reliving the whole polymer clay phase. I hope you guys liked today's video. I know it's a bit different but um yeah if you want to see a part two let me know in the comments below. I had a really fun time making these. If you haven't already check out these amazing creators and I will see you guys next time. Bye!